Let's go. Welcome back. Wednesday night. Hope you're having a lovely Wednesday night. I'm going to pull up a chessboard and play some five minute blitz. Oh, well, let's go. Get a few pre moves in here. Oh, you have to be careful here because you can always take. But I'm going to push past here right away. Or push right away and go after this pass pawn. Let's go. A castle, no hassle. Do I slide the rook over first and then take, or do I just take right away? Um, I'm gonna take right away. I think pawn takes this way. Yeah, let's go. Okay, getting the knight in the game. Go against this pawn. Defend it adequately. And just this, this pushing this F4, playing F4, could be annoying. Have the square control deep in my opponent's uh, camp. Let's go. Okay, going after the knight. Maybe I'm threatening to take here. Pawn takes, and then this is loose. The queen takes. Queen takes the pawn. I'm gonna grab here and then grab here. Yeah. My opponent's king is still in the center. Opponent's king castles. I don't have this clever check because the king can come here, but the idea is the queen hits the rook. It's, you can hope the king goes over, but no, even the knight defends, so that doesn't work. That's foolishness. Never play a move hoping that the opponent makes the bad move. Always assume the opponent will make the best move. But I have to do something with my queen. The knight is pinned, so I'm going to play this first. Uh, thankfully, there are no adjacent pawns to uh, kick this knight. And queen here. And rook here if needed. Okay, that doesn't work now. Okay, right away I'm going to question this knight. Knight... Mike's likely going to come here. Okay, grabbing here. So Rook's going to take, I imagine. The Queen's going to try to get in. The Queen's going to try to get in. The Queen is eyeing the square. Of course, Rook can drop back. Spawn is also loose. And King safety is the key here. I'm down a pawn, but the King safety and actually this inactivity of this piece. This rook is a little more inactive than this rook. This rook is connected with its brother. Uh, bishops though, bis bishop is okay. My bishop's more of a defensive piece. I can grab this pawn, or I can check here, but if I check here, just rook drops back. What do I have? I'm gonna grab this pawn. This rook's a little misplaced here. <laughs> that rook's loose. <laughs> Not just misplaced, it's loose. Let's go. And I think that was rather short. I think we have time for another... Yeah, that was like three, three and a half minutes. We can play another game. Let's go. Okay, we have the bishops opening by white. If you come one square further on the second move with the bishop, it's called the Portuguese. I didn't know that until I played that. I played against it, actually. I had black pieces. My opponent played the Portuguese. And I was surprised by the opening. Bring the knight in. Defending here. Let's go. I'll be this d6. Questioning the bishop. Pre-moving here. Uh, yeah, d6, bishop here. Never liked this bishop on this diagonal. Going after the bishop. We may see my opponent play this right away. In which case, I just dropped the uh, bishop back. This is interesting. Uh, rather than trading here, my opponent wants to trade here. Idea is bishop takes, pawn takes. But the, pawn, the knight just comes here. Pre-moving here. 
and pre-moving here if knight takes. And now getting active with this rook. Rook has a semi-open C file to work with. And knight's going back here. Now I think queen wants to step aside and I want to get this F5 in. Yeah, may see the knight come here. H4 going after the queen. Okay, F5. The pawn takes, I think. Knight takes. Oh, the pawn doesn't take it. Def definitely push past, creating this pawn structure. I'm going to squeeze up all my pieces. King side attack here. And my opponent, this knight is a little out of the attack. This rook is not in the attack. This is a very wise move. Going after this pawn chain. I'm just going to drop the bishop back. How far back? This or here? I'm going to drop the bishop back here with the idea of maybe it will be useful on this diagonal in the future. And pre-moving this way. Pawn sacrifice. Knight's going to take here. But then I'm going to move my queen. Where's the queen going? Uh, not here. Queen's coming here. There's no ideas here. The knight's loose. Can't defend the knight with the pawn or the knight, but you can defend with the queen. Then I can chase the queen. So the knight's likely going to drop back here. Let's go. So, time is about even. My opponent's up two pawns. I need to attack somehow. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Go after the queen. Queen of my dreams. And now, I think this rook lift. Idea of bringing the rook over to the G file. Or what about even this? Oops, sorry. This G5, G4. I don't like that. I feel like I have to drop the rook back or move the rook over. Or even double here. I'm gonna double here. It seems a bit strange doubling on a file that's closed. But maybe these two moves are in order. I have this sleeper of a bishop that's just camping out on this diagonal. Hoping to be relevant at some point. Or even on this diagonal. I think it may be time to use this bishop. Snap off this knight. Alright, where else is the queen going? Maybe the queen's coming here. Queen's coming here. If the knight were to go anywhere, I could pick up this pawn. But then the queen's come off the board, and I don't think that's what I want. Two pawns already. I think I need to keep this as dynamic as possible. The rook's coming over. Again, time's about even, but down two pawns. Stepping the king aside. I have two choices. Uh, this feels like just a little bit further away from the knights. So I'm going to come here rather than here. Let's go. Don't have anything that is now down on time. Take your time, opponent. Take your time. Can I play this? The problem is, the rook comes over, this is loose. I mean, it's already loose. And if the rook comes over, I can grab here, but if this rook comes over, I guess queen here. Mm. I can play this. Yeah, this is a move. 
Queen defends. Go after the queen. Uh, and again, the king is far enough away from the knight, so there's no checks. Now I can just grab here. Oh, this rook is loose. This rook is loose. I don't think I can give up that rook, can I? Rook takes. Queen takes. Rook takes. Rook takes. I don't have an attack. So, what do I do? I have to defend here, or... The rook has no squares here. I'm just going to push this rook forward. And... Okay, now my opponent defends a knight. Okay, going after this pawn. Like I said earlier, this bishop could be useful on this diagonal. And if you push past here... It's so key that this knight is far away from my king. It's not leaping anywhere with uh, any forcing moves. Okay, I think it's time... ...to go after this. Oh no, this is the way. Is this the way? This goes after the queen, queen of my dreams. Uh, and if you take here, there's a check here winning the queen. Where's the queen going? Queen may come here. Can't grab here, because knight takes, rook takes, rook takes, and there's no attack. But I can now bring the rook back here. And this pawn is not going forward, because queen takes, although you can promote. Oh no, you can't promote. Okay, this is a bit scary. Uh, rook's just coming here. 33 seconds. I feel this is desperate time now. Yeah, just here. So I'm defending here twice. Still defending here. 17 seconds, so a minute and three seconds. Still down two pawns. Just blockading. Again, the knight isn't doing anything useful for the moment. Oh man, this is awful. Get pre moving here. Seven seconds. Okay, can the king come over? Okay, I have to take here first. Now oh, the king's coming over. Pre moving here. Pre moving here. For this minority attack. Yuck. Okay, I can't go forward. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Cheers.